Hi guys, welcome to another video on the channel. My name is Ronan and today we're going to be looking at how to install MoTeC and then link it to a set of course of Competizione so it will capture data of your sessions. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the MoTeC website. You can just Google MoTeC and it'll bring you to motec.com.au. You're going to go to the products tab and then what you're going to do is you're going to select the latest version and because I have a 64-bit machine, we're going to click the 64-bit here. Make sure it's the 32 megabyte one. You're going to download that and then what you're going to do is you're going to go through the simple steps of installing and I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed but it's a simple step-by-step. -step. Just go to the very end, get it installed in your system and the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to open your, um, your this PC documents when you go into documents you want to go to the Assetto Corsa Competizione folder and you're going to find MoTeC if MoTeC does not show up here and I had an issue where it didn't show up after installation just restart the computer and it should appear what you want to do is go into MoTeC all of these are not going to be in your um, in your MoTeC file the only thing that you'll see is workspaces you're going to grab these two files in workspace and you're going to hit copy Then you're going to go back out to documents and you're going to go down to MoTeC go into this folder go into workspaces and what you're going to do is you're going to paste those two files which I've already pasted already into this folder and that set up that sets up your workspace next thing you're going to want to do is open a set of course of competizione so let's open it up. Hopefully it won't take too long. The loading times are pretty good in a set of course of competizione and they shouldn't take long at all. There's just one step that you need to do within the game to link MoTeC with a set of course. And what you're going to need to do is start a session. So hopefully this loads up pretty quickly and it does. So single player, I'm going to go for a practice, start session, let it load up. And what you want to what you want to do then is go into setup. So go straight into setup. Then you're going to want to go to whichever your setup is if you have one customized for yourself. Go over to electronics and then this telemetry lapse. I usually put it to about 25, and what that does it will record 25 laps and then it will start recording the next 25 laps and obviously start deleting the previous ones. If you want to have that lower, higher, I mean, it goes up to 99 laps, but for me, a session would usually be about maybe 25 laps and you can get a lot of data from 25 laps. You're going to go back out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go for a drive. Drive for about five or six laps, um, nice and smoothly, and then quit out of the game. And the next step is very important. It's the step that I kind of struggled with. And that's the reason why I wanted to set up this, this video is because this didn't seem to be explained very well in the videos that I watched. So what you want to do is you want to open MoTeC. And also here, you're going to go to File, Open Workspace, and you have to click this Base ACC. This is the one that we copied into the folder. That was a, a pain for me i didn't know what was going on no data was being received so make sure you select this press ok and then you're going to want to go file open log file and we're going to search for our set of course a competition folder so we're going to go here here and then into motec and then as you can see here these are the sessions that i have completed um previously so the latest one is, that's the latest one we had here. So we had zero um, time because we didn't do any laps. So I'm going to do the next one. And all you're going to do is click, click open. And there you have your telemetry now is set up. And you can go and have a look through all the different pieces of data. And there's also a nice uh, track report where if we press play here, we can see... Um, where our breaking zones are and these can be changed these colors can be changed i'm not going to go into too much detail on how to do any of that stuff today but i might do an in-depth in tutorial on setting up your own custom workspaces and how it can benefit you the best so that's all i'm going to do 
I hope you guys are able to install it and link it to set set of competition. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave them below. If you're having trouble installing, um, let me know below and I'll do my best to help you out. My name is Ronan. This is the Alpha Fox. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up and please subscribe and we'll talk to you in the next video.